So I got this Samodra for my wife, who wanted to have the French experience. It's a bidet that is easy to install, and it has controllable water pressure, so she doesn't have to worry about too much pressure going into a very private place. Let's open it up and see what the inside looks like. I really like this. I like it when the parts are metal, not plastic. When you have these plastic spigots and stuff, it's just a terrible idea. This is a high quality piece, I can tell. Okay, I don't have the exact tools that they want. I had to use this kind of wrench instead of the one inch that this normally takes. But I do have a screwdriver. Setup is super easy. Basically, all we're going to do We're going to turn the water off at the source. Remember to turn the water off or else you'll have some trouble. I'd recommend flushing just because you want to clear it out a little bit because you're going to take this part off and it is going to leak when you do it. Set up the towel because it's going to leak even after you flush it there's still going to be a little bit of water. Then once you have the towel set up get your wrench, adjust it open, and undo the first nozzle. And this part's already off, and you can see the little bit of water that dripped. That's all you should really see if you flush ahead of time. Okay, now I've gotten the first part off, and we're gonna install this. This basically just goes, I don't know how you can see it, but it goes right there, and it gets tightened in place. Nice, oh, I'm sorry. As a piece of advice, when you tighten it, remember this extra nozzle should be facing outward because if you're not careful and it's facing inward, it's going to be very difficult to connect your hose. They provided some plumber's tape. They're very helpful. You'll need this stuff. You want to put plumber's tape everywhere that you're connecting the nozzle. So you'll put some here, you'll put some here, and you'll put some right here. The plumber's tape will make sure that you don't have any drips when this is installed. I've almost got the setup done. It's really quick and easy. The one thing I wanted to remind everybody is don't forget to put this in. It goes face up. So as you can see, it has a curvature to it and the curvature goes up. Piping in. Now I'm gonna undo this part here. And this bowl has to be taken off. So you wanna go ahead and undo the screws. These things can be either a Phillips or a standard. So you don't have to worry too much about the type of screwdriver. You just need to have one. Okay, these just slip in just like that. You take them and put it down. It goes just like that with these holes lined up to the gaps in this. Okay, you see how that is? Boil it bowl. And you basically just put it right back in the way you had it. Now, these things here, the reason that they're side by side, they're long, is so that if you need to adjust the toilet bowl a little left, a little right, a little up, a little down, it can do all of that just by rotating these the direction that you need it. So once you have it on here, you'll want, the reason these have these gaps is so that you can adjust the toilet bowl however you need. And if you need it to go down, you just rotate the gap so it's like that, and then this could move up and down more. So you just adjust it how you need, you stick it in there so it's comfortable and centered. You want to make sure that the ridges here are lined up on the bowl. Everything is perfect. And when it is, you can take the bottom washers, stick them on here, and tighten the bowl back down. So now you can see this part is done. The bowl works. You can see it all looks like it's installed correctly. The last thing to do is to just hook this up. A really quick and easy install, right? Okay, now it's done. And you can see the hose that came with it connects here. The other piece connects here. The nozzles are both different sizes, so you can't hook it up backwards. It's not possible. The water inlet is here. The other part goes here. From here, it's as simple as this is for girls, gives you your water. It has adjustable pressure, so that's just a little bit, that's a lot. This is for your butt, a little bit of pressure, anemona, <laughs> we'll just call it a lot of pressure. And that's it off. I'm going to turn the water on and we're going to give it a go. 
Okay, so it's all installed. It's ready to go. It has a lot of force. It's really a very good one. Go, I'm going to use this gray so I'm not shooting water all over my sink or my bathroom. Come closer. See? And there's that one. And as you can see, it does have some pressure control. 